It's a beautiful December afternoon at Bon Air. What are we going to do today? Let's fix a golf cart. This thing just stopped running. So what did I do? I rebuilt the carburetor. Okay, I lied. I didn't rebuild the carburetor. I took it all apart and I cleaned every single jet on it. It just wasn't getting gas. I mean, it wasn't getting gas. It was clogged, right? So I simply, I mean, I've cleaned plenty of carburetors and they work fine. But no, it still didn't get any gas. So I ordered a new carburetor. They only cost 30 bucks. Why did I spend two hours cleaning the carburetor? It's kind of crazy. I have all of the lines connected. Now to just put a couple bolts in and see if it starts. The last time I worked on this, I put it all back together, the covers, you name it, and it didn't work. This time, I'm only gonna put a couple of bolts to hold the carb on there and see if it works. Here we go, putting it in neutral, choking it. Gotta fill up the bowl. Better than it was before. Wow. It hasn't sounded that good forever. Dang, that sounds crazy. Man, this thing must have been clogged up for a long time. <laughs> You don't realize how much you use a golf cart around the farm. I mean, yeah, you can get in the truck, you can go everywhere, and if you need to haul stuff, that's good. But just going from, say, my parents' cottage, to the house, to the barn, it's about a quarter mile each place. This has proved to be a really handy little thing. And yes, it used to have a cover on it, but guess what? Gil rolled it down the hill and it tumbled over and knocked the cover off and bent the frame. But wait, there's more. Okay, I said, you know what? I can put some wood in the wood stove over there and I can heat this stuff up and I can make it straight. Isn't that good? And I did that with the steel, got that all straight. And then I said, let's go ahead and put this other part in there. So this is what was twisted right here, right? So I went ahead and put this in the fire and figured I'd be able to beat it when it came out. Guess what? As the Brits say, it's made of aluminium. It totally melted the end off, it's supposed to look like that, into molten aluminum. It's totally gone. Were you aware that when you put aluminum in fire, it actually melts it? and I want to take up blacksmithing. Well, blacksmithing 101, you don't use aluminum. All right, we're almost finished. Next, we will put in the air filter. It's a little dirty, but it's not filthy. Boom, boom. And then the air filter cover. this in boom 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 and it's got to go underneath here like this like this like that snap crackle pop rice krispies okay by the way on yesterday's vlog the saga about having no uh, water on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I cut this filter in half. And yes, yeah, black, but it's supposed to be black. But it is, yeah, it's got clay, but man, it's I've, I've had filters that have been totally worse than this. So I don't know how this got clogged up. 
but I need to get and keep the clay from coming into the cistern somehow. I also found these cool headers for an inline six cylinder. So if anybody needs these, great price. Between here and here, it's 24 inches. I've got them on sale on eBay right now, but does anybody know what they go to? Good night, barn. Time to call it another day. Let's get on the golf cart and head back to the house. All right, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Let's see what we end up with. Oh yeah, baby! Nice! Oh, sweet! I'm gonna let my wife drive this and I'm gonna drive the truck home. Gotta show you the afternoon sun here. On the farm at Bonaire. It is just gorgeous. So let's take a little drive around the house. On our next golf cart. Whoa, it's bright. Let's see. But I love the afternoon sun, especially in the winter time. You have those nice long shadows that cast. It's about the only thing I like about the winter time. And today we have a nice clear view. There is, can you see Yogaville over there? Let's zoom in on it. Yogaville, it is actually on the map. It's a, oops, how do you do this? Okay, this way. It's um, a yoga retreat. It's been around since the 80s. That's the Lotus Temple there at Yogaville. And right there, the tree line, you can't see it. The tree line beyond that lake is the James River. This used to all be part of Bon Air back in the day. But we have such a pretty view here. At the top of this knoll. Deer season ends January the 6th here in Virginia. So these deers should be safe by then. But look at these long, long shadows and that golden color you don't get that the rest of the, part of the year and the sky right now is so blue it is really really pretty just wanted to show you some things today here at Bon Air today's video is kind of short we picked my parents up from the Richmond Airport they were in Nashville visiting my brother so we got a late start to today but it's time to wind down have a great day, guys.